and you really have to learn your opener. So saying I've done it once, I've done it five times is not enough. What I want you to do is do it, 20, I always say 20 is a good number, Sometimes it takes a hundred times to perfect that one opener because you don't know all the replies that girls would give you. You don't know the moves to put with it, the kino, when to you know raise an eyebrow, when to lean back, when to you know stack another opener, and the, or or you know when you get into this game a year and a half in, how you're sequencing various routines and how they're they uh, kind of segue into each other in unique ways where you could do a stream of seven different routines this 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 and it turns into what is you're just on in mode you're in fucking mode, mode where yeah. certain routines done in a certain stack hit better than in another stack same routines but sometimes they just boom 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 boom, boom as opposed to boom 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 you know? But that's how it would be at the start. It will be that's how it will be, what I'm saying is. So just keep cracking out routines. Keep cracking the next thing, the next thing. You know? Don't just hope it's going to go somewhere. Take it somewhere. You know what to do. If you, you think at this it. stage that it's... Because I know a lot of the, your, so both, all of your mentalities are... Drunk. I must get the girl. I must get the girl. I must lay the girl tonight. Then you're going to lose. No, Freedom from outcome. Right? Think, no, I need to learn my stack. Uh, you'll do. You're yeah, my exactly. warm-up set. Yeah. You'll do. I'll practice I, on you. Yeah. And then her. And then her. I'm open that way. I would open by saying, you are my practice set. <laughs> <laughs> and I run material. Right? You say to act drunk? You mean act that? drunk. Pretend. Pretend to be drunk. Come in and go rub your belly. By the way, remember yesterday I was going, I've got the Jaeger in my belly. Actually, yeah. it's a double shot. They're making love in my belly. I didn't drink. I didn't have a Jaeger. I didn't have a shot of Jaeger. You know, this, the, the, the alcohol that we finally opened up was 50 minutes before closing, basically. You know, it was, it was uh, almost 4 o'clock. But at 2 o'clock, at 2 o'clock, I'm going, I've got a Jaeger in my belly. Make love in my belly. And why am I doing that? Because I'm conveying a current emotional state of non-neediness, non-threatening, and I'm not, you know, into them. I'm not all into them. I'm showing I'm in a great mood. That's the very first thing you want to convey is that your mood is not scary. Every single set I have to convey that my mood is non-threatening, that I'm actually in a chatty mood. And the fun thing you can do with it as well is you'll have a really long conversation in that mode of acting drunk and all of a sudden you just become really sober. Exactly. You know, so anyway, what do you think of the state That's of the nation? Right. I can act <laughs> over drunk and then isolate the girl and say, look what you made me have to do. I had to rub all your guy friends' bellies to show them how drunk I am just so I can isolate you and say, is there more you than ETI? Finally, Miss Popular. Right. Uh, what about this pen here? So, what, uh, you know I'm a big fan of your lock-in, so it's great, your lock-in is great. But I think you, you're in that mode too long, so it needs to be a bit more uh, moving then, bouncing merging. them around. You're focused merging. on merging, let's do some advanced stuff, let's get yeah, you're merging ready. sets you're happening. Ready. Let's get girls fighting for you. Because you've got the one well set, the while you have the one you set, well, you should already be working yeah. the next set. The lock-in? Right, getting them the fighting, just make it happen. Wreck your sets. When everything's going good, go, you know, go ahead and go wreck that now. Like getting another girl involved. Here, come, you come meet this girl. She's fucking crazy. At first, I, I hated her, and then I loved her, but now I'm getting a short attention span, so perhaps you could tell me what's wrong with her. Because I can tell you, I know her now. Uh, but I want you to find out for yourself. I'll be back. Open the next set. <laughs> right? Wreck the sets. Make, make things happen. Supernova explode them when things are going well. Fair? And this gentleman here, he was inside his head, as I, as I recall. Uh, I, you, I mean, you got right. kiss clothes. You got kiss huh. clothes, you were smiling. By the end of it, you were interacting. You, you did step into it. But at first, you were really reserved. Hard to get you started. Yeah. Right? So, you were late. hence, you were late going out there and doing that really sort of like outrageous open up just to get you in state. Sorry? So doing the outrageous open up, okay, okay, okay. one of the two I gave you, yeah, yeah, that yeah, okay, okay. just gets you in stage. Do things that aren't okay. you. Different do things. Outside do, the do, box. Do some crazy things just to see how crazy still works.
Okay? That should get you in state in the first hour. This gentleman here. I think you need to lock in more. You're, you're great, you know, you're going to do well. Yeah. There's, you know, there's no doubt. But you're too cool for school. Yeah. I think you're going to have to just be more trusting in the outrageousness of clothing and attire and style because those are the girls you're going to be going after are the, the ones I in high heels. Also, so I should you're, dress yeah, more like... I, I think you'll want to play in the world of, not necessarily peacocking, but play in the world of style. Play in, this is too plain, it's too, you got your watch, you got your white shirt, you got your blazer, you know, you don't have earrings, you don't have uh, sexual accessories, uh, you know, like this is pointless, what the fuck is this, right? It's stupid. But it does convey that I'm sexual. These are sexual uh, accessories, that's the only reason. It's for girls, it's not for any other reason, you know, but you're not showing that. Mm -hmm. So how do you put yourself on the market? How do you show... Too clean cut. You know, okay. You're too clean cut, yeah. What about uh, spiking your hair up, uh, uh, you know, uh, make, putting red highlights in it? You can wash it out, you know, mm -hmm. before Monday. I'd actually like to see a bit of eyeliner. On. What? A bit of Black eyeliner. eyeliner, yeah, doing stupid <laughs> stuff. Like, I would put you know, my, what, my fingernails. Yeah, or, or what you do is uh, you grab the black eyeliner and you draw a line here and cut, like it looks like a cut. You just draw it on your face or you take two black smears and go smear, smear and now go out. Because you don't care. You know? And you'll get open. And you'll get open. Or, or, or take a smear right here to here and then here down. And, they're, they're and now what's that for? They're that's what peacocking that is. Peacocking is not mm -hmm. giving a fuck. It, that's the brain. It's like your brain is different from all the other pigeons. You can accept the social pressure of having shit on your face, right? Yeah. So I think you're ready for that because right now it's too. You're conforming too much, and uh, so I'd like to see you play as well. Just play a little bit more tonight. So basically, everything is okay, but more peacocking. Uh, yeah, in time, or peacocking, but tonight, just trust in the outrageous <laughs> You know, be hot and cold with the person at the same time, you know? Like, wow, you are absolutely gorgeous. Too bad you're not my type. Oh, that's right, I said it. I said it. <laughs>